Hey guys, it's me again. Um, this time with another Minecraft tutorial. So this time we're going to be working on vaults. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create a nuclear reactor. Um, I'm going to be doing a fusion reactor. Let me go grab that mod right there. It's called Atomic S Oh crap. This is always a little bit quirky. It's called Atomic Science. Let me just pull it up over here. Here we go. So, this mod is really cool. The, it's the best way to get energy. And the uranium is somewhat easy to find. It's a little bit um, more abundant than diamonds are. But it's not as hard to find. Probably, I think it's about the same as uh, lapis. So, really, uh, really good. So, um, I'm just going to show you the basics. I'm not going to show you all of these things because then it would just take forever. But uh, I'm going to go grab my hazmat suit. This is what protects you from radiation. Um, radioactive material um, that spawns when it overheats and just blows up. Um, a centrifuge is how you uh, create uh, uranium ore into regular, like regular uranium. Um, fission reactor is the one we're going to be using. Um, one of the easiest and uh, reactor turbine is how you're going to get your energy um, reactor expansion I have not played with this I think I might go uh, see that just in case um, control rod is shuts it on and off the nuclear reactor especially if you connect it to the thermometer and if it overheats it shuts off so let me put all these on Go back here, okay. Um, and then it taught, and then these uh, things right here are um, other uh, things for atomic science. So that there's a particle accelerator in here, so that's really cool. All right, so we got basics here. I'm actually going to grab some uh, uranium rods. I'm not sure how to work these. Yet. I'm sure it's within one of these reactors, fusion reactor. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm just going to show you the uh, the first one, the fusion reactor. So let's grab, I think I'm going to make four reactors. You see, I'm going to grab four uranium rods. And these will, if you do not have the suit on, they will give you uh, poison and stuff. You can see it over here in the background. I'm getting it. So um, I will put these in my inventory right here. Keep my hazmat suit on. And I'm going to just grab some blocks. I'm going to grab some glowstone. And I have a mod installed, so I have all of this stuff. Um, refined glowstone. I'm going to grab. Um, this is another mod. Just I installed all the volts mods. So. I'll put the link in the description for this app thing that I'm using. Um, but I'm just grabbing some basic blocks so I can uh, monitor my reactor's progress. Uh, I will need some wire. I'm going to go to Universal Electricity, or actually Electric Expansion. I'm going to get Insulated Superconductor. So I think that's about all we're going to need here. Um, I'm just going to do it in this area. I've kind of cleared some cactuses out and everything already. Alright, so here we go. It does, so this thing, basically, what we're going to do... Ooh, I need to grab some water. Um, really kind of simple to build. It's not uh, utterly complicated. Let's see, let's go grab... Oh, I need two things, actually. I'm sorry. I need. We need pistons. And we are going to need a door. And we're going to need some water. All right. So I'm just going to build a smaller one I'm since I'm only using four. Some of these, I mean, you can create huge ones. It's like... I've created, like, some people have created map-sized ones, and those are just ridiculous. 
Um, yeah, but here, delete these corner blocks. All right. So I like I build pretty much just two up because that's all you pretty much need. And this is like bat blast proof material, so it won't destroy like when the it won't just blow up when the reactor does or if the reactor does actually. And I'm just gonna replace the floor with it too. Because you don't want to take chances with these because you can really screw up an area. All right. And I will be doing a full mod tutorial on uh, the ICBN mod. I've been working on it for uh, a couple days now. The mod, the mod is just huge. It has so many different things and it's really complex. But I figured I'd do this, take a little break. From that, all right. So now I'm going to set up my uh, reactors. So reactor. Right now it's it's harmless. It's, there's nothing in it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to grab my control rod and my door. Right now. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piston there with the control rod on it. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Right there, right there. Oops, I don't want that. Right there, right there. So I mean, they're not perfectly even, but I think I'm only going to build a three right now. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty simple to make. Right now it's safe um, to be around here for take off my hazmat suit, but I have the uranium rods in my inventory, so I'm just gonna keep it on. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for that part. So I can go and destroy these. So I had to grab some redstone. Grab that and a repeater. So now, I can use a little bit more blast proof walling, maybe. So I'm gonna delete these blocks right here. Okay. Put my thermometer, I'm gonna shift click. Put my thermometer right there. And I'm gonna shift click again. Do that one more time. Actually, I am going to put it up here. Okay. So, and you can ha leave an open space here because the piston and the control rod will block it. Um, so I'm going to put that right there and delete these blocks. Put some redstone. Well, actually, I need to run the redstone over. Oh, how to do this before? I had a double piston one because I had about 18 of these in one of my old maps. Um, I think I'm gonna put this over here, actually. So, just put the thermometer right there. Put a little bit of redstone wire, there we go. And, more redstone wire. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, it's late and I'm not functioning right now on how to put redstone. 
on right now, but I'm going to put a repeater in because it's just easier and it directly only powers the piston. So yeah, that's that. I'm going to grab some sand and fill this back in. What can I take out? I can take out those. So, send. And then I'm going to build a little observation room. Back where I can see the thermometer. Alright, there we go. So then I can cover this right there. So, you can get that right there, so where, that's where I can see. Uh, I'm just going to try to cover this up just a little bit more. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, I don't really need that. But I'll put it there anyway. Go make it three high then, in that case. Um, so, this is quite easy to make. I'm just kind of drawing it out so you guys can see it more. Um, does not take long at all. I think I built the other uh, huge one in about 15 minutes. Um, I think I'll go to my other world at the end of the video and I'll show you it, the com fully completed version. The one that took me a long time to make. Um, let's put a door there. Some glowstone. Around right there so I can monitor. And I'll do, I'm going to do the same thing for all of these, and I will be right back. 20 minutes later. Hey guys, I'm back. I finished uh, just building those little things, uh, the little like observation point so you can watch the temperature. Uh, it took me a little bit longer because I kind of redesigned it. It made it a bit more compact. Uh, I'll show you how it works real quick if you want to. Basically, you have the thermometer next to uh, the fission reactor. Just got some glass and just have it run like this. And I had to have it run like this so we can have a standing block right there. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then I have another glass there, and then that redstone with the repeaters connected to the control rod. And I just use a repeater because I can. All right. So, the next step to make a nuclear reactor is I'm going to grab some of this stuff and actually, you know, I'm going to uh, create something else. It's called a, uh, I, I call it like a refill door, I guess you could call it. Um, basically, you go in there so you can... Uh, refill the uh, nuclear reactors. Yeah. Uh, with their fusion when they run out. So, basically I'm just going to have two sets of doors. One right there and one right there. And bring this out one more. Because, I don't know if you know, if I told you yet, uh, this whole thing is going to be underwater. So, uh, what really sucks about these is that you can't put enchantments on them, so I can't put, like, Aqua Affinity so I can breathe longer underwater. But, uh, that really sucks. Anyway, and then, so I got that. Uh, I'm gonna put, maybe put a chest there with a bunch of deuterium rods in, or uranium rods in. Uh, yeah, so that's basically everything right now that uh, we need to build on the outside before we can fill this. I might actually put some pressure plates. Put some glass pressure plates to make it flawless. Alright, so now, 
we can fill this entire area with water. So I just go by doing the edges first. Kind of challenging to get it all flawless. So basically you have that and then I just build whatever with whatever material. Uh, the same height, I think it's the same height, yeah. And I just fill, click all the sides with water. by the water. Yeah, last time I had squid spawn in here, so uh, be wary if squids do spawn. They will pretty much die. So I guess that's all right. I'm kind of, I kind of like this spot right here. Let's see if we can fill it like that. Let me do one higher. There we go. All right. So now that's filled with water. Uh, we can put all of this stuff away. I'm gonna keep a glowstone. Door, all that away. Um, cactus, so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a uh, reactor turbine. Put all this stuff away. And we're going to need a wrench and our superconductor. So, I'm gonna get our wrench. Superconductor. Alright, so I'm gonna set the day here. Um, so basically, how this thing is gonna get power is we are going to just set our turbines around the opening entrance of the water. And there are going to be some that are not gonna be the huge ones, and I'll show you how to make them huge. Uh, you just need a 3x3 three three square, so 9 total. Click on with a wrench. So I'll finish filling this right here. And sorry for the background noise if you can hear it. Uh, one of my brother's friends is walking around talking on the phone. So, yeah. Oh, actually, not my brother's, my sister's. So we're almost done filling this. All right, we're done. So now what we can do is I like to work from the edges. So we're gonna grab our wrench, find a three, one, two, three by three, and right click. And right click, right click, and right click. So all of these right here are just gonna be extras. You can't make them in the smaller ones. You just got four big ones and a outside the edges a bunch of little ones which you can fill this with blocks and just have four big ones I just like it just generates more power if you don't all right so I'm going to fill this with superconductor because that takes the most electricity for the most electricity wire um, copper wire on nuclear reactors always burns up it will trust me every single time and I learned that also, uh, superconductors can burn up, not easily, but after a while they can. So I build like a too high, uh, too high like little structure here. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, that just connects all the turbines because the more wire there is, the more uh, space the electricity has to travel. Uh, and the less heat that it's going to put on and less strain it's going to put on these turbines and wire. I'm going to connect this. I'm almost done making that. Um, yeah, I will get to my other world here in a little bit. We're almost done making this. So I would highly recommend this, especially if you're using copper wire. I mean, if you have huge amounts of copper wire and you build it like this, it should withstand it. 
I haven't tested it exactly yet because I like to use superconductor, um, usually because I'm in creative modes. But uh, I'm sure if you are able to do that, it might work. Alright, but uh, it might last a little bit longer. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to test that and get back to you guys. So I'm just going to build this out over here and kind of get some battery boxes. So, ooh, what happened to... I'm just going to get quantum battery boxes. I haven't used those yet, but they sound pretty big, so that's what I'm going to use. Alright, I'm going to build this down right here. And actually, I think since I have a nuclear reactor right here, I'm going to build... Uh, this is going to be where I'm going to do my ICBM mod tutorial. Yes, I'm, and I'm going to do that pretty soon here. Um, I think I'm going to put the final touches on today. So, and then hopefully upload, I think I might upload this video maybe a couple days before. So I'm just building this out right here, making like a squarish looking thing. And this can be all underground too, this doesn't have to be above ground, I'm just building it above ground because it's easy for me. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to build, or put down a bunch of battery boxes. Let me shift click because current frequency, what does that mean? These are all facing the wrong way, so I'm going to have to hit them with the wrench. I think I'll, I think I got to put some glowstone. So I kept just like a, just a block. So I can build easily. You know, whatever, whenever I do this, it always seems like the opposite end. I'm going to try to have to figure out, I'm going to face all the black sides. But well, why can't I switch this around with the wrench? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, this is bad. Um, maybe I have to shift? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have all of the black ends facing out, and we'll see which one takes in power, I always, I keep forgetting. Do that. So right now I'm just shift clicking, right clicking. Just switch these around. Seems to there, okay. So now I can run my wire. here see what I'm doing I'm like making lots and lots of wires this is a great uh, method of do, uh, keeping energy especially if you're using copper so they don't burn up because if you put too much energy through them they will burn and you will stop getting power then you have to rebuild them and yeah it really sucks especially on survival when you have to mine for all this stuff all right so basically we got our little setup there. So now I'm going to close this door. And let's go to my in survival inventory. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, it's alright. I don't 
we say we need poison. Um, radiation. Oh, oh, I don't have my suit on. Oh, that's weird. That was not. That's not good. Hey, right, get the suit on. problems today. Okay, now survival. There we go. Okay. So, I think my radiation went away. Oh, now it's counting down. Okay, that's good. Close these doors. That's not the right. Here's the door. Okay. So now, here's the door that I use. So now I'm going to put these in. All you have to do is just aim at it and right click. Really simple. Oh, I only have three. I don't have four. Okay. Let's go back. Ugh. All right. And then we got a chest and more blast proof stuff. I can hear in the background noise. I don't know if you can. I'll turn my volume up. It's running. All right. So looks like this turbine isn't getting any power because I don't have a nuclear reactor right there. So I just might cut. I just might cut that right there. This is a quick access point. So that's not getting any. Most of these are, like these two. Usually you want to do this in survival because you do not want to waste and you can build more nuclear reactor stuff. This looks like all those are running. Alright, alright, let's see if I put them in right in. I don't think I did. Let's get a wrench. Yep, alright, so I gotta turn all of these around. That's lovely. Thank god it's only two clicks. I had one of my other world that I will show you, the big nuclear reactor. Um, that one took a while to do because I have about 400 battery boxes or something, some crazy number like that. I have a bunch, I have a decent amount above ground, then I have just a huge amount underground. Alright, there we go. So now that should be getting power. Yep, oh wow, that's filling up relatively quickly. Yeah, okay, let's go get a um, energy cube. Oof, th those are... An Quantum things do not have a lot of energy. There we go. There's a basic elite energy cubes. Let's get those. Oh, are those full? Oh, I don't want them full. I want them empty. That's what I want. I'll show you how. Fast these can fill up. Okay. I'm not sure exactly which side. It looks like I have to just bring it on the screen side. Um, go to my superconductor. The 
Yep. Okay, so I gotta turn these around. I don't have shit click. Oh, okay, that's nice. So I have to right click with my wrench. So now all I have to do is just run it directly from the quantum box, which really don't hold a lot of stuff, which is kind of disappointing. A lot of energy and stuff. Since I have some of these sticking out, I'm just gonna go like that. Maybe it'll fill it up a bit faster. You never know. Make it like a cage. So I bet all these quantums are filled. Oh wait, no, they're giving their energy to the these, to the elite storage cubes. Yeah, so these hold a lot, and if I put one up, I'll put one right here, and it's at zero right now. So I'll put a superconductor right there. And look how fast that just fills up directly. To this one. Oh, that one's already filled. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had to get more of these. Yeah, but you just see these, these fill up hugely. I mean, 5 megajoules in Minecraft world is like infinite. But yeah, okay, so that's that reactor. Um, lots of wire. Let me go show you uh, my reactor that I did. Uh, oh yes, I was playing with grenades. Anyway, let me clear my inventory. Yes, I had lots of fun, don't worry. Um, had a couple close calls. Ooh, I think I need a block. Copper! Save my life! Okay, so I think I had a lot of fun with ICBM which I will get to later. <laughs> Over there is everything. Alright, so this is my nuclear reactor. It looks like it's shut off right now. I will go into the room. It looks like I need another hazmat suit, which I think I have in here. Yes, I do. I have a bunch of these. Just grab a random block. I can stand on. There we go. Sulfur. Sulfur. There we go. Um, so you can go like that. Put that in there. And let's refill my reactors. So this is our, or this is my reactor um, that I built. And I'll show you. I don't think I, have, I, don't think I brought enough uranium. Back in the 
chest. So they still have a little bit of radiation. Yeah, 56, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. We're in creative. Um, the radiation is pretty deadly. Let me go to game, let me go to uh, survival. That's creative. Game mode zero. Yeah, it's after a while it just starts eating away at you. I'm gonna game mode one. All right, there, close that door. And so that was the main reactor room to get in. Um, this is how this is how I check up on it. I'm gonna find out. In here, and my double control rods. So it looks like this is at 270, 265, that's 253. Those are good. Um, one thing I did not tell you is the warn. That's when it emits a redstone signal and pushes these pistons up, which stop the reactor when it gets to 2000 degrees. That's the default setting. You can set it lower if you want. I just keep it at the, de I just keep it at the default setting because it works perfectly fine. Um, oh, I cannot see those. Oh, I have to fix that one, okay. Oh, well there's one, 296, so I'll have to go fix that one later and not catch that. Um, is, oh, here, I put these in, that's why I didn't do it. So this is 580, around there. That one, this one I kind of botched and it started blowing up, so I just boxed it out. This one's a little bit higher in electricity. I can go down here, check both of them out. So, oh, this one's only 100 degrees Celsius. That's pretty cool. Oh, you get surrounded by more water. That's 215, that's 278. So basically whenever this, when either one of them stops, it stops both of them. Because one explosion could trigger the other and change the action, which would be bad. Um, let me send it today here. Um, yeah, so this is just the above ground portion. Yeah, there's a lot of energy cubes. I don't think it's, yeah, still there's silly up. See, they're still not filled. Um, I don't even, it doesn't even look like they're filling at all. Oh, that's because I have this going on, I think. I'm gonna delete that there. Yep, there it goes. That was kind of depressing. Um, I don't know why that's not getting a bunch of power. Maybe it is, because there's so many of them. Maybe it's just filling them one at a time, maybe not all of them. I don't know. Well, holy crap, there's squids. Yes, um, squids spawned in here. This was a heat generator before I did nuclear because I didn't have enough power. Um, yeah, pretty nifty. And this one does not have any electricity, but I can fire my railgun. Boom. You're all dead. But anyway guys, that was a, this was the tutorial on how to build a nuclear reactor. Um, fission reactor. I will be, if you want, I can do the more powerful reactors. Uh, just give me a heads up and leave a comment in the descriptions and please leave a like because this did take a while. Uh, but thank you guys and I'll see you later.